want to welcome everybody to Arise Shine. This is John and Carla Capetto of Broadcast of Faith Heights Church. I'm really thankful you're watching. We believe you're going to get something really, really good today. So stick with us, hang in there, tune in, and I believe your life will be radically changed for the better. Carla, say hi. Yes, hello. Thanks for watching and joining us today. Uh, Don't forget that there is somebody on the other end of these cameras that is there live to be able to chat with you, pray with you, and let us know, you know, where you're watching from. And, you know, we've been kind of changing things up and we're talking about things that are on our heart. But we don't want to just tell you what's on our heart. We want to know what's on your That's heart, good. too. So message us in there. Um, if you're on YouTube, I believe there's a place to message. If you're on Facebook, there's a place to message. Let us know what's on your heart. Are there things you'd like us to talk exactly. about? Is there good. something you have some questions about or wondering about? Put it in there, let us know, and maybe in one of these upcoming programs soon, we'll be able to talk about that as well. Exactly. Last week, we got to talk about something that was on my heart, and we talked for about a half an hour on Be Real, Be Free, about really being honest in life and and go ahead and, and having the courage to fess up to things and uncover things if you're covering something from a spouse or doing something in hiding. And it was really, it was really a good time, you know I mean? The coolest thing about last week is that there's no sin, there's no mistake, there's nothing that the mercy of God can't fix. That's right. And you just have to believe that when you go into these things because Mm -hmm. it's not easy sometimes to reveal and bare your heart to somebody or be honest about something, but people with courage can do it and the mercy of God fixes everything. So we had a really good time last week. So today I'm going to ask Carla what's on her heart. We've already talked a little bit. We haven't done Mm -hmm. any study for this really. Right. actually any study we decided to just shoot from the heart we've been in pastor position ministry for over 34 years and there's some things that have built up over 34 Mm -hmm. years that are really good and helpful and so you may hear good things you may hear not so good things but we're going to be honest with you so we're going to talk about what's on our heart so carla it's your turn what's on your heart what do you (laughs) want to talk about well other than how much you love me and how much of a prince i am yes you were (laughs) always on my heart dear (laughs) Come on, um, <laughs> let's, let's be real. Go ahead, tell them what's on your heart. We talked well, about some. Well, yeah, just earlier today we were talking about it, and he, you know, wanted to know what's on my heart, and yeah, I try to keep keep in tune with what's going on in the church family and um, the women in our congregation. And sometimes women come to me, and and really this happens for men and women, just Christians in general, everybody on the earth, really in general, um, where some of their dreams didn't come to pass you know maybe they thought oh this is plan a for my life i'm going to do this here's where i see my future headed here's my goals um and they have this plan a and they just are looking forward to it and thinking and then something happens and plan a didn't work i mean there's people who have lost spouses um maybe people have died or you know took off and left them or different things happen or maybe they had this plan a in their life financially and then they lost their job, had to file bankruptcy. Um, you know, things yeah. happen in life, and sometimes Plan A didn't work. So what are you going to do when Plan A didn't work? Well, you're not going to throw in the towel and say, "Oh well, I guess it didn't happen." You know, now what? No, God has a way of taking Plan B or C D or C D. He can go all the way to X Y Z. God has a way to take Plan B or beyond and make it the new plan a he is that good he loves you that much he has a way yeah to make a new plan a yeah. maybe things didn't go the way you wanted maybe plan a didn't work maybe the marriage didn't work out maybe the finances didn't work out maybe the job didn't work out yeah. maybe the career didn't work out whatever it is don't fret because as long as we put our trust in right, God, keep right. our eyes on him, we pray, we seek him, he will help you turn things around. It's kind of like Siri. We talk about this once in a mm-hmm. while. You know, you've mm-hmm. got your destination and you're on the way. Well, maybe something knocked you off course. Well, God is a great recalculator. <laughs> he can right. recalculate and he can tell you step by step yep. how to get back the planet oh so good and it'll be wonderful it can even be better yes. than what you thought plan a was supposed to That's be right. because god raises the dead he quickens the dead yes. he calls things which be not as though they were 
And yeah. what we thought plan A or that amazing dream of what we were born for, uh, what, whatever we thought that was amazing, it's going to be, and if that crashed for some reason or got blown up for some reason, if you believe that God can raise something up even from the dead and can make plan B even better than what you thought plan A was going to be, you'll see it. Yeah. You'll see it. I mean, we've got scripture after scripture that shows us. How about this? So Peter denies the Lord three times. Outright lies. You know Ananias and Sapphira fell dead for lying, and here Peter did it like <laughs> worse than them. And then yeah. Peter was at that meeting where Ananias and Sapphira fell down dead because of lying to the Holy Ghost. It's real interesting how that played out. But here's the interesting thing. So we look at Peter's life. Up to, I'm sure he had these dreams of being this right-hand man of the Lord Jesus and just being there buddy-buddy and never messing up. And he blows it big time. Yes. So what's what happened? Plan A ain't going to happen. <laughs> he can't be that one who never denied the Lord. He did it three times, brought curses down upon himself, said, I swear I do not know the man. Mm. Well, it's real interesting. If you read on in the book of Acts and you read on through the New Testament, Peter did way more for the Lord after he committed the greatest mistakes of his life than even before he committed That's the right. greatest mistakes of his life. That's good. He was used of God more. He did more for God. He walked on higher levels of power and anointing after the greatest mistakes of his life than even before. That's a perfect example of God taking a plan B and making it even better than we, we, we thought plan A could mm -hmm. be maybe. Now he'll have to live with that, you know, but God forgave him, God cleansed him, yes. but he did more. Obviously he had the favor of God. He went higher than he could ever go. Yep. Yep. Maybe even before he made those big mistakes. So mm -hmm. there's an example right there. That's so what else, what else is on well, your heart about this? Um, you know, even in the beginning, if you think about it, could we, could we say Jesus might've been plan B in a way? In a way. In a way, I mean, God, so he, he I was going to read that here. Yeah, go for it. No, go ahead. And sh well, tell just me how, what you're talking you know, about. I, I believe God's plan A, you know, he created Adam and Eve, told him be fruitful, mm -hmm. multiply, created all the animals and everything for him. Yeah. And uh, he was walking with them in the cool of the day or in the yeah. spirit Hanging of the day, you know, them. and something happened and plan A got ruined. Yeah. So let me read what happened. Yes. Okay. Let me read you plan A. Yeah. Plan A is Genesis chapter two in verse... Um, 16. Okay. We'll just start there. Here, here's plan A. Here's God's plan A. And the Lord commanded the man saying, of every tree of the garden you may freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat, for in the day that you eat of it you shall surely die. And then he went on to say it's not good that man should be alone. So plan A is this, that Adam and Eve love God enough to stay away from the tree he said stay away from. Mm -hmm. His plan A was, you know what? My plan A is that, that these beautiful people I just created would love me so much that they would just trust me and do what I said. Mm. And it's interesting because when Adam and Eve did mess up, God didn't get this complex, oh, I must not be good. Oh, I must <laughs> not be a good God. Right. Oh, it must be my fault that they, they, they went and sinned. No, he was strong enough to realize Creatures with free will just might not do everything the way you would want them to do it, but right. that's where free will comes in. And God would rather have a free will creature loving him than a robot mm -hmm. loving him, mm -hmm. obviously. And so the tree of the knowledge of good and evil was put in the garden to test to see how much Adam and Eve loved the Lord. Yeah. And when it came right down to it, they slipped. And we can't throw any rocks, right? <laughs> that's because right. we've all slipped. <laughs> um, so plan A was that they just love him unconditionally forever just like he loved them yeah but genesis 3 says uh the serpent said to the woman you'll not surely die if you eat of the tree and so when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes a tree to be desired one to make one wise she took of the fruit and ate and she also gave to her husband with her and he ate plan a gone yep what did god do <laughs> he didn't quit he didn't give up. That's right. He didn't throw in the towel. He didn't get a poor self-esteem, start getting all inward. He had a plan. And basically the plan was this. He said to the serpent, you're crawling on your belly from now on. Yeah. And here's the deal. 
there's coming someone yes who you're going to bruise his heel but he's going to bruise your head mm. that's right Plan D. yep yep and what happened resurrection power yes everybody gets saved that believes in jesus yeah and this whole mess is fixed and we get to be raised up and we get to see it all turn around and plan b is mm -hmm. really good <laughs> i like to say you know god walked with them in the cool of the day yep well he lives in us mm, zach that's even <laughs> i mean better. you talk about plan b being wow. way better than plan that's a so good. It's, i mean he's not just walking with us he's actually walking in us, in us. <laughs> he lives in yeah. us I mean, yeah, wow, that's, that's a you, you talk well, about a great plan B becoming mm. better than plan A ever could. Isn't it just like, OK, here's another good scripture. Romans five, where sin abounded, mm -hmm. not plan A. That's right. But where sin abounded, grace did much mm. more abound. Had the princes of this world known, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory everything got better after the mistake it's like where sin abounded grace did much more abound yeah. isn't that yeah. just like god it's like all right you may not have seen plan a come to pass in your life or plan b or c or d maybe you're on plan xyz like carla <laughs> said if you will trust god he yes. will do something so yes. amazing he, he gives beauty for ashes you mm. give him his ashes he brings beauty out of it right he he can do anything mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. people need to trust him don't give up don't get all inward thinking oh i'm no good oh i lost my spouse oh they went off with somebody else or this happened over here oh my dream blew up over here trust the lord to turn your life into a plan b c d e f g or whatever so amazing to where you go mm -hmm. wow i know plan a should have happened but i'm not missing plan a with this plan b that god touched in my That's life right. it can be supernaturally mm -hmm, amazing mm -hmm. well look at job he's another example that's good his plan a was that his, his kids never die yeah his yeah. businesses never fail yeah that the devil never attacked him his plan a didn't work but he can't say you know what um well he, his kids just yeah. take his three kids yeah that's a major plan a down the drain oh my goodness how many yes. people would maybe give up after something like that yeah but he did well didn't his wife try to get him to his <laughs> wife was having mental problems or something <laughs> she said curse god and die why yeah. do you retain your integrity job yeah. and he said you're one of the foolish women so <laughs> i don't hear much about her after that <laughs> no no <laughs> but he had more daughters so he must have got remarried yeah. or she got converted or something yeah but you would think his plan a was over it's shot job what are you living for you're already old you know, you lost your kids, you lost your wife, probably you lost your business, you lost yep. your money, you got lost your health. Yep. What did he do? He didn't give up. That's right. He kept looking for answers, kept looking to the Lord, tried to get some godly counsel, and at the all said and done, because he didn't quit and he endured and didn't point his finger at God and say, you're not true, you're not fair, this is mm. not fair, this is not no, fair. No, no. Mm. He stayed with it received some correction and had twice as much yes. for the rest of his life after about a hard year, just yeah. a hard 12 months and yeah. he had twice as much. I think too many times we try to humanly figure out how plan B could ever work mm -hmm. or C or D or whatever. Yeah, because you but just see, see no. We can't, we can't figure it out on our own. We just have right. to, how could it's I be a happy? faith issue. We how could I be happy again after three kids died? Right. How could right. I ever be happy again with a big old house and how, how he got seven more daughters yes and they were the most beautiful in the land when i yes. said when i said he got twice as much i'm talking about twice as much blessing as he yes. had before the trial hit yeah 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 i mean we try to figure it out with yep. our minds and we can have that too it's totally yeah we can have it Similar. way better i mean it could be a better job a mm -hmm. better marriage if you if your husband or your spouse died yeah. it could be better yeah Everything can be better. Absolutely. As long as we trust the Lord and look to him. <laughs> Amen, sister. That's <laughs> awesome, Carla. Um, I was thinking about, um, there's just, it seems like people, the, the, well, we know the devil's going to be right there. Oh, yeah. Saying it's over. It's over. Just forget about being joyful ever again. Forget about having that peace ever again. Mm -hmm. Life will never be good again. Says who? That's right. Um, 
when those thoughts come to you and those feelings come to you, it looks like the dream is over and people, oh, we look like a loser to the world. And maybe the world is saying, man, there's some losers over there, man. They really messed up. They said they were going to do this and look <laughs> at what happened over here and what happened over there. Here's a phrase we have in Faith Heights Church. We encourage everybody in the church and beyond the church to adopt in your vocabulary. When the devil tells you it's over, it's black, <laughs> it's bleak, you'll never feel normal again, nobody yeah. can replace so-and-so, yeah. which is partly true, but don't think somebody can't be as good or even more uh, joyful yep. than so-and-so. Here's the deal. It ain't over That's yet. right. Let me say something about <laughs> that. He says that a lot. If you go to church here, you know he says the word ain't a lot, and he'll say it ain't over yet. And his mom used to try to correct him, and then <laughs> I used to try to correct him and say, I don't think you should be saying ain't. It ain't over. You should say it isn't over. And, um, but, you know, he, he still said it. And then one day we were, this was just <laughs> a couple months ago or so, we were in the house and I was in prayer and there was something that I was just talking to the Lord about. And I'm telling you, I heard the Holy Ghost on the inside of me say, it ain't over yet. And I was like, me and the Holy Ooh. Ghost. Okay, the Holy <laughs> Ghost said it, so now it's okay. We can say it. So it ain't, ain't over, over yet. yet. And I think you should write a book called It Ain't Over Yet. I'll, I'll put that on my list of the on, other on 10 the, books that I'm yeah. writing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always telling him what he should do with, with writing books, but it ain't over the yet. The meaning of it will set you free. That's right. The, the English grammar, don't worry about that. But if you get what the Holy Spirit's saying, yes. it ain't over yet. Think about Joseph. Talk about oh, a plan yeah. A going down the drain. He's got these amazing dreams of being this help to his brothers and this wonderful leader of his family and providing all kinds of good things and just, you know, just people respecting him so much and ends up in prison yeah. <laughs> for unjustly yeah. because yeah. a lady lied about him well first he ended up in a pit. first he ended up in a pit which was but then he ended up in a prison yeah yeah his brothers his own brothers threw him into a pit and sold him to egypt as yep. a slave and then they went back and told their dad he's dead and then put his garment in blood of an animal or something said yeah he got torn by torn up by wild animals what's going on with joseph uh mm -hmm. plan a ain't looking real good <laughs> right now right. i thought it'd be just a smooth sailing to the top here and right yep. in a pit now he's a slave in egypt yep and then what happens yep then Went his, from the pit to the prison. Then he gets thrown in prison because he wouldn't sleep with his master's wife and she got ticked off at him yep. and framed him and made him look like he did some crazy sin and he didn't. And so the master of the house throws Joseph in the prison. Yeah. Looks like it's over. Yep. Now we're on plan C. <laughs> yep. yep. That's right. And now he's in prison. But it said the Lord was with him, had great favor on him in the prison. And it said all, he got to be the head in charge of everybody in the prison because he had such favor. And the favor of God got him out of there. Pharaoh heard him interpret a dream and said, who is this guy? Well, he just came from prison, but and he said, well, I like him. Yeah. So he put his own ring on his finger, put him in a chariot right behind him, said, you're over the entire land of Egypt. Nobody higher in the land but me. Yep. So Joseph went from the pit to the prison to prime to minister the palace. to the palace i like yeah. that from the pit to mm -hmm. prison to the palace mm -hmm. because he kept his integrity he kept his faith in god yep. Yep. another cool thing about joseph is the things that disrupted his vision are disrupted his plan a the things that threw a wrench in his plan a were people <laughs> and he he realized you know what i gotta be cool here i mean he 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 was kind of hiding out for a little bit when his brothers came to him for food because of the famine in the land. But eventually his heart came yeah. out. He wept. He cried. He hugged his brother's necks. And, and he wouldn't let resentment mess up his plan C. Yeah. Yeah. He's already on plan C. Right. Because if he would have, see, the brothers and, and Potiphar's wife messed up plan A and B. Right. But he could have messed up plan C mm. by violating love, being judgmental, not forgiving. But he forgave. He hugged their necks. Everything worked out great because plan C was amazing. Yeah. Because God was with him. Yeah. But you did bring out something interesting there is it usually is the devil or the enemy working through people a lot of times mm -hmm. is what causes a mess up. A mess up in, of, in the plan. Yeah. And. 
And if you really want a good plan B, that some other people messed up your plan A, you're going to have to forgive. Yep. You're going to have yep. to forgive. You're going to yep. have to walk in love. You're going to have to forget yep. some things. Um, we mm. were just watching a movie. I know this may sound strange that your pastor likes these kind of movies, but <laughs> I'm kind of you know tender hearted in some of these touching movie areas. But we were at Rachel's house and we saw she had Cinderella, the 2015 version of Cinderella. Yeah. For rent. I said, Rachel, we want to rent that off your iTunes. So we have her on our iTunes at home. And we were watching the movie Cinderella, two, uh, 2015 version. Yeah, the latest I just one, like I clean think. movies. What can I say? And I, yeah. I, I like to see the prince and the princess and the royalty. And anyway, so we sat down just a couple mm -hmm. nights ago and watched Cinderella. Cinderella. And one of the best lines in the movie. See, this would have messed up her plan. She had a plan A. Yeah. It was that mommy never die. Yeah. That daddy never die. Yeah. Or at least that the stepmom and the two sisters would be nice and have some compassion <laughs> on her. She <laughs> lost one, two, three. She's on plan yeah, D. She, yeah. But here she is. She's ready to leave the house. The glass slipper fit. Her and the prince are walking out of the house. And she turns around, looks at her wicked stepmother and says, I forgive you. And she turns around, walks off with the prince and lives in her plan D probably better yep. than her first thoughts of what plan A could be like exactly. other than mommy and daddy had, had passed right, away and that was right. a drag but she had a peace she went on she was courageous she was kind and she <laughs> came out of the problems that tried yep. to destroy her plan yep. at whatever yep Great that is a movie I will recommend we don't recommend Cinderella. any movies <laughs> <laughs> we recommend the 2015 version of Cinderella yep, because yep. that's another bang 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 what do you do mm -hmm. how about we talk about what you don't do you don't give up don't give you up. don't quit you move forward you trust god and you yield to the love of god in your don't heart don't get bitter don't get bitter mm -hmm. carl i sense there's some people on their plan l yeah today some yeah. are on their plan q yeah today i mean it's been disappointment after disappointment mm. smash dream after smash dream after smash dream after smash dream but you know some plants have it rough during the first few months of spring and summer. They're called late bloomers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Architelpa, oh my <laughs> goodness. Architelpa <laughs> tree in our last house that we sold. We, I mean, it's like all these other trees are just bright and green and white <laughs> and red. And Architelpa still sticks. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> <It's> stick. still <laughs> sticks. <laughs> but boy, when that thing blooms. Yes. It's beautiful. Yeah. And it's, it has a uniqueness even above all other trees in our neighborhood. Yeah. And so uh, you might be a late bloomer, late bloomer. <laughs> yeah. And y it may be, you may be in the alphabet. Maybe you're at R or <laughs> S T U V <laughs> or whatever. Don't quit. Don't quit. Don't, don't, don't quit. give up. Jesus took him three and a half years to change the entire world. Yeah. Your last three and a half years may be when you're 70 or 80. Don't give up. It, it, you can still bloom. It, yes. It's going to be amazing. God can take nothing and make something out of it. Yeah. So please don't don't lose heart, guys. That's right. It doesn't That's matter right. what dream you're on or what restoration you're on or what letter in the alphabet you're on. God's going to make your life absolutely amazing and beautiful. And you're going to go praise the Lord. Yeah. I didn't give up. Yeah. Yep. So do you have Get anything up, you want to say? Brush on? yourself off. Yes. Put one foot in front of the other yes. and walk forward. Yes. Keep moving forward. Don't yep. ever just quit. Mm mm. God no. can't do anything if you just sit there and quit. No. But if you just keep moving you gotta forward, keep going you forward. will get there. And you can't, you can't be concerned about what you look like to people. Because you, you'll be thinking, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. If that doesn't happen, everybody's going to think I'm a failure. So what? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they didn't die for you. They don't have resurrection power to give to you. But Jesus does. That's right. And he doesn't want you quitting. It may look like, you know, here's another thing. You may be on plan B because you personally messed up your plan A. Right. Maybe you don't feel like you deserve a plan B. Mm -hmm. Maybe you say, well, I'm the one that ruined this whole thing. I destroyed this whole thing. And you know what? God wants you to know that there's a plan. Peter That's messed right. up his life. Yeah. Lied three times, denied he knew the Lord. He didn't quit. And his, why didn't he commit suicide like Judas? It's about right. as bad as what he did, denying the Lord, betraying the Lord. Do you see a whole lot of difference? Wow, that's right. Why did Judas hang himself? And why did Peter go on and become the pillar in the church? Mm. I think one of them realized, 
you know what? I can get through this with the Lord's help. Yes. It's not hopeless like the devil saying. It's not hopeless I like the way the passion just depicts that because it really shows the devils working on Judas in that the movie Mel mm -hmm. Gibson's movie The Passion and in such a sly way and and he just couldn't handle the guilt. Yeah. But you can handle it. Yes. Because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. And if you're not a born again Christian watching right now, just ask Jesus to yes. come into your heart, receive him as your Lord and Savior, and you can walk in this kind of life we're talking about here. Yeah. No matter what's happened, you can recover, you can be restored, right. and you can resurrect. Yes. Amen. Isn't the resurrection kind of a plan B? Yeah. I mean, the plan A was never that God would have to have his son die. Right. But he right. did have to die. Right. And he did lose him. Yeah. And the resurrection happened. Glorious. Yes. So Amen. shall we pray, everybody? Let's yes. pray. We're going to believe God with you for anything in your life that needs to be helped. Father, we're asking Amen. in the name of Jesus, help our viewers right now, Lord. Help them to sense the truth of what we've been talking about. Help them to sense yes. your presence. Help them to know how much you love them. Show them, Lord, that no matter what's happened in their life, you are greater. I know they don't feel like it maybe right now. It may seem like they'll never feel normal again. They'll never feel peace again. But show them, Lord, that that's just a lie. Show them that they will get through this. Show them that there's another plan coming on the scene. And I believe it's even yes. going to be better than what they perceived the first plan that you gave them was supposed to be. So, Lord, show them your miracle power. We stand with them in agreement. Carla and I say, Amen. in Jesus' name, you're going to rule and reign in yes. this life victoriously through Christ Jesus. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. What a great yes. arise shine. Carla, say goodbye. Yep. See you next we time. We will see you guys next Monday. Have a wonderful week. Keep your eyes on Jesus and everything's going to be all right. We are all